I don't really like science fiction. I never watch it, I'm afraid. Um, so I'm not an aficionado. And I always think, oh, um, that will never happen. So I'm always one of these people that has to believe that it will happen. So I can't really watch it because I don't think it will. <laughs> I mean, you mean like science fiction, like in movies and, yeah. and so on? I think it's, it's interesting, right? It's like it's, it's part of our lives. Okay, and this more part, I like in a way that it's good to have maybe creativity, right, and imagination, and to get possibility to get surprised of things, of the unknown, right? Maybe, yeah, everybody in his mind can have his own ideas about how these unexpected things can be rationalized, right? But this is, of course, different from real science, so science fiction, real science, the different things. Huh? I do like it, I don't like all of it, but I like a lot of it. And I think, um, I think it's exciting, young people, if it gets people reading and involved and watching um, interesting programs, I think it's great. But I think the most important thing is um, that it has the potential for making young people interested in science and actually looking to the future as to what might happen in science. So I think that if it gets people to feel that science is exciting, is going to change our lives in the future, um, and is a force for good in, in general, then I think it's, it's terrific. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm a, 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 I have a very positive view of it. <laughs> And also regarding uh, the, uh, the younger generation? Uh, I don't really like or follow science in media, actually. And, uh, but I strongly recommend, uh, for, for example, there are two, two types of media. Um, science fiction, or more, for example, science documentary, or uh, for example, they describe the life of uh, um, great scientists uh, and uh, this type of of media. I like it very well.